Can we get a Chuckles war cry, please? Oh. I'm going to commit various war crimes! <laughs> no, war I'll be wanted in at least 13 different countries! A war cry. <laughs> oh, a war cry? I'm going to commit various unforgivable war crimes! I'll be wanted in every country! Close enough. We're, we, we hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, the Geneva Convention. <laughs> I couldn't think of Geneva Convention. I was blanking on Geneva Convention. Thank mustard? How about mustard gas? Uh, uh, thanks. Loose boots. Okay, we, this is the last one we're going to say. Geneva Convention, more like Geneva Suggestion. <laughs> Come, my child soldier. <laughs> <laughs> just knocking back thrill joy. Yeah. Following chuckles. Yeah. Full metal jacket. Oh, I become a space warlord in the outer rim. <laughs> C H U C K L E S, and that's all that there is. Chuckles the clown. Chuckles the clown. Chuckles the clown. Chuckles the clown. All right. Oh my god. Are we bean? Are we feeling beanie? Uh, I'm feeling, yes, I'm feeling, feeling beanie. I'm feeling beanie. I'm feeling beanie. Uh, thank you for being here with us on Wednesday. Rich, go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage. Once upon a witch light hour, the sleeping queen stirred in her tower, and through grand halls past lock and key, came to her slumber dreams of three. The first brought laughter filled with fright, the second love defiled by spite, the third a world of pure delight. She welcomed these, they were her own, but soon from porcelain lips a groan, her silvery dreamscape now forsaken, to pain from which she'd not awaken, something blighted had come hither, foul as nightshade creeping thither, from yon the grave-like curse did wither. The little prince wept in his spire, his wounded heart had one desire, a ballad from the dreaming queen could turn his maelstrom mind serene. He vowed her rescue, speech sincere, but toys would be his shield and spear, and so he scoured for one full year. In springtime wreathed in parenthood, the prince first found a toy of wood, a doll set, beasts and wild things. But listen close and each one sings, a song of child, owl, and bear, a song that calls the spirits there, a song for monsters with much hair. When summer heat steamed like a kettle, the prince then found a toy of metal, a rocking horse with ashen mane. Around its neck was draped a chain. Its horn and eyes and nose shoot flame with mighty hooves and sturdy frame. No better steed one could proclaim. He searched from autumn's harvest throne. The prince then found a toy of bone. Lettered blocks stacked to the sky when turned to words could only lie. Deceit known to the hounds of hell makes for a potent hex or spell of souls, of sin, of shadow fell. Through winter's chill from peak to pass, the prince then found a toy of glass, marble spun in measured motion, like careful thought or certain notion, each glinting cat's eye seeing all, from stars beyond the cosmic sprawl, to inner strength and mind's recall. The day has come, no time for rest. The fateful toys placed in a chest with stripes of white and stripes of red, just like a big top by his bed. The little prince prepares a flower for either outcome, sweet or sour, and makes a wish for love, for power, once upon a witch light hour. Last time on Once Upon a Witch Light, Gideon woke up from his coma. Mm -hmm. And you found yourselves in yet another uh, marriage proposal. There are now three of you that are engaged to be wed. Uh, through some cunning trickery, uh, Kremi convinced uh, 
two of the pixies, uh, the ones that are betrothed to Kremi and the one that is betrothed to uh, Gricko, to sign a contract uh, that got smaller and smaller and smaller in uh, in font size towards the very bottom. So they did and sign it? They did sign it. Oh, it is <laughs> unknown as to whether they understood the full extent of what they were signing. And oh, as the no. dungeon master, I don't even know the full extent of what they're signing. So we'll find out later. Still legally binding. <clears throat> Still legally binding. That's right. <clears throat> um, Simon Blood. Afterwards, um, they made their way towards the... Um, the bubble pot teapot, and they enjoyed the sightseeing of flying around in the bubbles, which directed them towards the big top, uh, where outside of it, a new nightclub had been formed um, called Nightlight. And it is here that they donned their drag outfits and performed for the uh, 21 plus crowd at the Witch Light Carnival, uh, which did include Mr. Witch and Mr. Light. The performances were spectacular and the crowd went wild at the uh, at the entertainment that was provided for them this evening. And it was with Frost's final swift movement that a hush falls over the crowd as everyone realizes the show has come to an end and silence. Uh, fills up this space before Mr. Light begins to clap slowly at first and then louder and louder as he rises to his feet. The entire crowd rises to their feet as well and begins to throw um, panties and uh, oh, and uh, and money and uh, and flowers up onto the stage. I mean, it's a drag show. Come on, it's gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> It's the flower. What did you think I was thinking? You guys are all sick in the head. It was the flower. If it, 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 you get smells if he's from back, uh, you panties from back here. You gotta. Oh! Uh, well, if we haven't all been there, uh, you know it's true. Twitch pulls. Can we trigger a Can we trigger a Clinton? Yes! Yes! Uh, and it is, it is here that you are standing on the stage as these accolades are being um, uh, are being washed over you. Uh, the three of you are standing in the wings of the stage as um, the pixie that had been helping you rushes over and directs you to to make your way onto the stage and take a bow as a unit. Um, and you are all three of you ushered out next to Frost as you're standing there. Um, you all take your bows. The crowd cheers and shouts for you um, for the uh, the drag extravaganza that was this final night of the Witchlight Carnival. And this goes on for about five minutes as you see Mr. Light stand up and um, and uh, he looks out towards you and gives Frost a, a quick wink before you see him descend from the balcony into who knows where. Uh, the crowd begins to make their way towards the back of this newfound um, club that has been made here and they all begin to exit and spill out into the carnival proper. Um, you are directed to wait and to spend time on the stage until you can be met by Mr. Witch and Mr. Light themselves. Can we get changed first? Do you mind? I mean, I, I, I got my pasties on. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, but Mr. Witch and Mr. Light specifically asked that you remain dressed as you are. Oh. Oh. Oh, even Mr. Uh, Mr. Witch? Oh, we don't think he cares one way or another, okay. but Mr. Light gets what Mr. Okay, Light wants. Okay, I was going to say, I would expect that from Mr. Light, but is Mr. Witch also uh, a sex pest? You should have picked a more comfortable outfit. <laughs> Second question, has anyone seen my corset so I could at least cover up a little bit? I oh. threw it off into the crowd. I just... Uh, yeah, I think it's over there off the side of the stage. I look over, is it there? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> This was surprisingly <laughs> easy. <laughs> I think it was torn apart by red caps. Hey, you mm -hmm. think somebody would have kept that the way you threw it in there? Your performance. It's like a collector's item. Yeah, you'd think. I mean... Oh. Not so, who do, you, yet. who do you think did the best out of all of us? Let's be honest. I feel like I did okay. I, uh, there was a bit of silence after, and I, I wonder if perhaps Mr. Light convinced everyone to cheer, but I, I, 
I think I hit the beat and I, I kept up with the the, the lyrics. Uh, I, I tried to be as craftful as possible. Well, I gotta admit that, you know, doing actual live singing is a lot more impressive than just lip singing. Yeah, no, you're automatically disqualified. I mean, well, no one was gonna say it. But well, uh, I, I, look, but all I'm saying is that what I did is a little more traditional. It's more what you'd expect. Oh, look at Mr. Oh, oh the more traditional gumbo is to do this. <laughs> oh, it's a lot more simpler, but it's traditional. Do you think uh, I feel like we're talking about a crunch here, Grammy. <laughs> Do you think that I can take my gloves off, or should I leave them on? They're, they're a little sweaty inside. I, I think they they want us exactly exactly as we are. No. <clears throat> yeah, we leave all the outfit on. <laughs> as I'm like operating the fucking big titty troll mecca, <laughs> walking around. <laughs> it's very Mech Warrior three of it. <laughs> if I if I took my glove off, it would have to be the whole arm. I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I should have picked something a little bit smaller than a troll. I think. What do you think? I think, from what I could hear, it sounded like you were well received. I was mostly trying to meditate and get myself into. Are you sure I didn't screw it up? I was so worried in the big top. And no, I, you did great, Frosty. I'm backstage. To Frosty, be honest, we we couldn't even really tell. So I mean, for all we know, I, mean, I, I didn't make it. I didn't sound great. Uh, I yeah. love that thing you did with the numbers: five, four, three, two. I'm a one. Yo, yeah, uh, yeah, that, that, I'm that, the that, one. That felt good. I, I nearly yeah. I mean, down. counting yeah. backwards from a five, I would have been like, whoa. Yeah. I mean, three, okay. Four, well, you're I'll pushing it, but all the way from five. Counting is my special. Oh, it's quite not. Nice. And this conversation <laughs> happens for about ten minutes uh, before uh, you see uh, you see the pixie that had been helping you dart off into uh, into the audience area, and she seems to be concerned with something as you hear her talking over her uh, her rocky talkie. Um, yeah, no, I understand. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Sure, I'll I'll do what I can. You sending her over right now? Okay. Yeah, no, I'll keep him here. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Yep, no, I got it. <laughs> All right. Well, you have a... Okay. And she puts it away, clearly hung up on. No. <clears throat> As she flutters around towards the back of the um, of the audience area, and you, um, you eventually hear the sounds of two people talking. Um, their voices are muffled, and uh, eventually you see a shape emerge as... Um, as someone begins to walk towards you, it's clearly not the size of a pixie. Um, and in the in the the darkness here, the spotlights are still directed on you as you stand on the stage. It's hard to tell who this person is. A goblin? Dwarf? Gnome? And as they come small. into view, you see a very small gnome woman. Uh, she's wearing uh, what looks to be the outfit of someone who works at the at the orchard, and she her hair is these bright red ringlets. She has piercing green eyes, rosy cheeks covered in freckles. She's wearing a straw hat with a, a rim of pumpkins on them, and she begins to walk up the stairs towards you. She looks kind of shy and nervous. Hi. Hello there. Hi. What I do? Hi. Hi. My name's Mabel, and I was sent here to escort you to your weddings. Mr. Witch and Mr. Light unfortunately couldn't come to meet you, and I was tasked with, and you see as she pulls this gigantic sack off of her shoulders, with giving you something special from him, and if I don't do it right, I'm afraid that... <coughs> oh, God, y you be careful sneezing around these things. These are really special. Sorry, they're straight they, from the Feywild. They throw all these flowers out here, and I'm a little allergic. <laughs> oh, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm Mabel, by the way. I don't know if I said that already. My name is Morning Frost. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mabel. Let me get you your present first, all right? Are you ready for this? I wasn't expecting a present. I oh, have all these panties. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Witch and Mr. Light were really impressed with what you did. The entire car Carnival is incredibly happy. You know, happy parents make for happy kids. Happy parents get their kids lots of special things with money they wouldn't normally spend oh, when they're both drunk and happy. Impulse purchases. Yeah, for That's sure. That's always talking about. Oh, so we're driving up the, the profit margins and the revenue I mean, most of the, of the things are free here, but yeah, for the oh, few yeah. things that are for sale, <laughs> you're definitely doing that. Oh, lots of t-shirts. Like, like tickets, maybe? I mean, is that the only thing we paid for? T-shirts and tickets? Oh, little souvenir. Souvenir shops was... Uh, no, we had to win them. Well, we gotta give the you this stuff, though. We got for free anyway. 
Yeah. If if I do That's this, true. if I do this right, I'm going to get a promotion, and I'll finally get out of the orchard, and I can I can work in the big top. Well, do it right. <laughs> okay. No I pressure or anything. Oh, jeez. Don't you know nervous. you're talking to Tweakerbell right now? <laughs> and I'm also Trollette and Fifi Nix. Weren't you Trollina? Oh, I mean Trollina. <laughs> I can't keep all me. these trolls straight. <laughs> oh, okay. Tool. But yes, yeah, so apparently y'all did a really nice job with yeah. your with your performance, and and Mr. Light was really happy, and he was, oh my gosh, he came to see me specifically. I'm not quite sure me. I, I wonder if it was because I was the only one there cleaning at the time, but. No, he probably came specifically for me, but he asked me if I'd deliver, deliver these to you, and he said it's really, really important that nothing happens to him because these came straight from the Feywild. Oh, how come he went all the way to the orchard instead of just walking like five feet forward <laughs> to us? Something happened. I don't know what it was, but I wasn't going to ask questions. He seemed really nervous. Yeah, he probably got lost. You happen to know happens. any details about what happened? No. Maybe where they might be within the next hour or two? Well, I know that they're setting up the weddings over there at the orchard. Because oh. Taxi said she'd always wanted an autumnal wedding. That would be very picturesque. And, you know, good luck getting Taxi to do anything the other girls want to do, because she's not going to do it. Taxi does what Taxi wants. Trash. You got your hands full, Mr. Gideon, I'm telling you. Taxi does everything the other girls do. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> And he would know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. All I'm saying is that Taxi Taxi likes what Taxi likes, and she's not going to give up on her dreams. <clears throat> she said she wanted an autumnal wedding, so the rest of them have to deal with it. Uh, oh, my gosh. I'm talking your ears off. I'm so sorry. Let me go ahead and give you these. Uh, All right. We're going to start with you, Frost. Uh, Five, four, three, two, one. I'm, I'm number one. <laughs> Why are you crying? He's oh, crying he's because he cries at weddings, and there's gonna it's gonna be three times the tears. <laughs> he's horrified of commitment. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love unicorns, and my name's Kramer Crew. <laughs> if it's important. All right. Do you still uh, have a? Flower? Yeah, I was just gonna do it. Is there any water around here? Do I just use the? Oh, well, I got this watering can on my hip. Oh, can I borrow that? Yeah, sure. Oh, nice. Thank you. It's you really small it. in your giant <laughs> hand. <laughs> it's like the spittoon from yeah. your <laughs> It is definitely a gnome-sized watering can. It looks gigantic in your hand, but there's enough water well, to water the no flowers. That's the gnome chamber pot you got there, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, nameless gnome, why'd you give me this? <laughs> All right. Um, these little spectacles are for you. Oh. Um, and I have, let me look here. Okay, I have Frost, the Kilmulis spectacles. Um, they're a wondrous item, they're rare. As with most encounters with the Kilmulis, they bring things both helpful and harmful. In the case of the spectacles, they can be considered to be harmful to other fae. These wooden framed glasses mm. help the wearer find lost objects. Mm. They allow a person to roll with advantage on wisdom perception checks made to find something hidden. A side effect of this is that the wearer can also see invisible fae creatures. This is very generous. This is going to be able to really aid our quest. This is... Oh, if I if I could I could hardly think of something better than this gift. This is unreal. Thank Quick, you. look around. You see any weird pig creatures? <gasps> pig, look, pig, you know, like yeah, or a pig? Uh, or <clears throat> or cutesy. See, you see cutesy anywhere? Yeah, Ooh. like a cute nocturnal bird. Yeah, that likes like a, likes fish. Maybe fish bow ties. Yeah, or like ferocious. You what know, are you talking about? I do a full throw sixty very mammals. quickly just to get a sense of if I'm I'm if the magic is giving me any information through these spectacles that I wouldn't otherwise get. Um, you look around and you see, you feel like um, your ability to perceive things is definitely heightened while you're wearing them. You oh. notice things you wouldn't have noticed before. Uh, almost as if they uh, they stand out uh, preternaturally. Um, Ooh, nice word. However, thank you. Oh, however, nice <laughs> <laughs> couldn't even begin to spell that. That's out of character. Are you using it in the That's out of character, Andy. You know, I think Uncle Glover was a preternatural. <laughs> I'm 
don't know the meaning of the word. Uh, yeah. However, <laughs> you don't see any invisible uh, thing like this. It looks like any that would have been here definitely would have. And this is extremely valuable. Uh, very generous. Thank you, Mabel. Oh, you're welcome. All right. Okay, I can check that one off the list. Got that one. All right. Perfect. Um, now, next thing I've got is for Gideon here. <laughs> Five, um, four, three, two. And Mama you two. Get, One second. <laughs> you get for Lauren's remorse. Oh, who's Lauren? For La- for Laren. For Lauren. For Laren? Laren. For Laren's remorse. What she's upset about. <laughs> what? Why is she? Well, who's Laren and why is she upset? Why do I get it? No, it's a dagger. Oh, was oh. it Laren? Oh. Is that next morning to Brett, you know? Oh, I yeah. I thought Laren okay. was from that town, like, what was it called? Like, oh, Stinky Pete's Mud Hole. Remember Do that town want, in Yona? You want these gifts or not? <laughs> yes. What, what, what's well, a stinky mud hole? Stinky mud hole. Yeah, it was uh, like it was. You would call that a town? I mean, oh, it no, was, it was like, like a building. With yeah, like no, it was, really, it was more. Things it happening. was more of like a like a uh, like a roadway motel with attractions. Yeah, like I think you yeah. call it a resort. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. it was more of a resort. Yeah. Yeah. I really think it's got to have four walls to be considered a building. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I'm not even yeah. sure you can call it that. Yeah, yeah. An open bond, man. Wasn't that gal, wasn't that gal named Lauren or Laren or Laramie or something? I don't remember the name, but I'll never forget the smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel that if you say yeah. that, that yeah, smells are connected. Yeah, of course, Stinky Pete's mud hole for nothing. Did you, know? yeah. you say that oh. scents are more connected to memory than yeah. songs? Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. I'm gonna be sick. Okay, I'll take that down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're you're taking well, you're getting it because yeah, I was told you, you were getting it, and I got kind. it. I'm gonna have you sign off saying you each that these oh. were delivered to you. I'd be happy to do that. If I were to uh, manage my inventory and look up this magical item, how would I spell Kulnulis? <laughs> uh, it's Kilmulis. It's K I L L M O U L I S. You're not gonna find it though. Oh, I thought we bought the module. This is. This ain't from the module. Oh. Quite, quite wondrous. Oh. Mm. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so you're getting the uh, for Laren's remorse. Uh, it is a dagger, like I said, it's very rare. A plain looking dagger for Laren's remorse holds a dark history. The for Laren are creatures caught between good and evil and this dagger reflects their curse. When the user gets a natural 20, the dagger burns causing 1d12 fire damage Ooh. in addition to the crit. Anytime you get the killing blow, for one hour, you are under the effect of a bless spell. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Woo! Well, you know, I'm coming I was, around on Larry. This whole time I've been, you know, if we ever need like a stealthy kill, you need to sort of sneak up and, you know, do one of these. Now you got a little throat cutting knife. Oh, you want me to use a dagger? I mean, daggers are for, you know, like small people. I don't want to use a dagger. I was going to melt it down and no. work it into the lengths of the chains. The, val- the value is clearly the one hour of bless that you would benefit from. Well, all we need to do is find like 20 mice that you can kill with a dagger, <laughs> and you'll probably get a natural 20 at some point. Well, why is that? <laughs> oh, the old bag of mice. Oh, oh no. The, the, the bless is if he gets a kill and blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I'm, 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 I'm going to have, have 20 blesses. Feet. I'm going to have a bless. I'm going to be the rat king. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, have so many rat you don't have to crit. You don't that, have to crit. It. That's actually quite interesting because we'll move on to Gricko's item. Oh, oh. me next, me next. Um, Gricko, <laughs> you get you get the mouse harness. Oh. It's a wondrous item. It is rare. This tiny harness could easily fit upon a common field mouse. If harnessed, the mouse grows to a large size and gains the, the statistics of a fully trained riding horse, complete with full size riding gear. This effect lasts for eight hours, after which the mouse shrinks back down to its normal size. I will be faster than a rolling piece of cheese. That's pretty fast. Oh, no. You say faster or faster? I'm faster. Oh. You're a fester like cheese. Like cheese. I will be faster and also fester like cheese. I'm like festering like a plate ratty boil. Oh, like my favorite Adams. Fester Adams. Is that your favorite Adams? Yeah. Nice. What? Hmm? Why are there so many Adams? It's only second to Apple. Their, their family is Mine's John. I don't know what to tell you. John Adams? John. Oh. Nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, thank, you that, for, that. thank you for this little, little harness. Kind of oh, you're welcome. 
All right, and Krimi, you're going to go ahead and get the the Greg fiddle. It's a wondrous item. It's uncommon. This tiny fiddle is made of unusual materials, more akin to an insect's carapace than a wood. The fiddle strings buzz and hum at the slightest touch, reminiscent of a cricket. This is a pleasant... This is a pleasant tune that allows charisma performance roles to be made with advantage. There's also a special tune that is softer to the ear and cannot be heard consciously. If this special tune is played one turn prior to a charisma persuasion check, it may be rolled with advantage. If this tune is played one turn after a creature has cast one of the following spells, the duration is double. Animal friendship, calm emotions, calm person, dominate person, friends, hypnotic pattern, mass suggestion, and suggestion. This special tune can only be used once and requires a short rest before it can be used again. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. My grandpappy used to play the fiddle. Maybe well, I can hopefully channel, you can too. Channel his dead ghost. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can learn a thing or two. Oh, I can talk to spirits. I've never talked to a dead crocodile. Man. Alligator man. I'm going to have to weird because, I mean, that's totally irrelevant to me. <laughs> Alligator he's man. A, he's a lizard folk. Oh, well, I'm, yeah. I'm, a, yeah, I'm an alligator fella. His grandpa was just a human. <laughs> it's completely irrelevant. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, hey, you never told me that. <laughs> no, he was an alligator too, but it wasn't a crocodile. What's the difference? Like, what? How, how different would it be? They're just different animals. What's the difference between a bear and a raccoon? It's quite a bit. Of okay, can I have you each sign off that you got your gifts? Oh yes, please. Oh. Here. And she passes around her letter. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, you'll get five stars, five stars, five stars, five stars, five stars. <laughs> Gratuity included. Five Gratuity stars. Included. I don't know what you're talking about. Gratuity included. Yeah, Gratuity included. Yeah, there's one more thing. Um, yeah, there's this. And she holds up a wand that is very clearly a dark um, you wood. And it's Ooh. twisted and gnarled and very, very old. And wrapped mm. around, uh, the wood curves around a, uh, a glittering opalescent gem at the very tip of it. That when you look inside of it, you can see the fluttering um, of what appears to be um, a large uh, swarm of butterflies, moths, <sighs> and dragonflies as they dance about oh. around on the inside. Oh. Um, and she hands it to you, Frost. Now, this one is really special. I'm not sure where Mr. Ladd even got this, but it's definitely of the Feywild itself. Mm. It is, for to use it, it is going to require attunement by all four of you over the course of 24 hours. <laughs> it is called Wand of the Pact Breaker. Oh, it is the fun. only thing I've ever seen that's able to break a Fey Pact. It has three charges and cannot be recharged. <gasps> Once the final charge has been used, the wand will cease to exist. That's very interesting. Why don't you let but me hold on to that? Mr. Light said that you might be going somewhere where you're going to need that. It doesn't have any other properties aside from the ability to break a Fae Pact. I mean, I understand that's quite powerful and valuable. Fae Pacts are unbreakable. To be able to break one without making a new one is unheard of and I'm not sure how he got a hold of that. Mm. The fact that he's letting you have that means that you've done something very special. You should really just hand that over to me, Frost. It I doesn't have say, any command word or anything like that. We just have to attune to it and we'll be able to... We all have to attune to it. You all have to attune to it. It just needs to be in your part. And, and I'll use it. It just needs to be with you for 24 hours and then you'll be able to use it. Mm. But I, He said to tell you to use it very sparingly and not to... Not to go too wild with it. What is it made out of? I'm not quite sure. I've never seen. I think it's you, but I've never seen. I, oh me? my God! It's made out of. Goblins? It's me out of me. Oh God! No, the I yew tree. You were. Oh, would what? Why would he give that to us? Yew tree. Wait. He's me the, tree. He's not a tree. No, the yew tree. <laughs> You're you not would. a tree either. Three I of would us? what? It's you made of three of us? Won. I would what? You won. Y'all are idiots. I want what? I mean, I want a lot of things. Oh, no, I'm not you want. You won. Guys, I think the fair one is melting my bread. I'm just playing along because it's funny. I would what? I Look. think they're threatening you. Look. Made of goblins? Look, what, 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 what letter is this? Uh... Can you read? <laughs> well, it, it kind of looks like a tree. Uh, is that? 
We've done that, this, we, we've done this before. Is this is this Kelvinometric? We've done this before, Grico. You know the, the you feeling all right. The, the Y looks like yay. Oh, it's a Y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Foster. All, right, all right. Okay. What is that? Oh, that one looks more like a <laughs> parallelogram. <laughs> that, that looks more like a rune. It looks like it's a non-Euclidean <laughs> horrors beyond my comprehension. Damn it! Didn't fuck that. <laughs> what is that? Uh. Non-Euclidean horrors. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it looks like. Two, oh, that's an X. It looks like two Fs are having a baby. <laughs> oh, it's a little horse uh, upside down. And what does what? the horse say? E. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. What 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 letter is this? Oh. No. There's two V's connected at the center. They're holding hands. But what happens when there's two, two V's? That's two V's at their meat cute. What happens when they're two V's, Grico? Come on. Oh. And they're attached? Oh, oh, oh. When two V's love each other very much, it's whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you. Yes, exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. All right. So, so how do you, how would you pronounce this word? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try again, one syllable this time. Just write it very, ten. very fast. Just attack it. You, you remember it. Attack it. <laughs> you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My lips get really big and realistic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it works! <laughs> you got it. So it's not Y O U U as in you, it's U as in you. As in a tree, it's got nothing to do with you, Greg. Oh, not everything goodness. revolves around you. you oh, understand? thank goodness. It just sounds the same. It's called a homonym. Okay. <laughs> If it makes you feel any better, I also thought it was goblins. <laughs> Man, see? Why's everyone giving me all the, the grip of grand pie? Maybe hey. it's been a pleasure, thank you. Um, it, are we intended to be here uh, for much longer, or should we? Oh no, now that you got what you needed, um, you just have to make your way over to the orchard for the wedding, because it's starting in like 30 minutes. Oh, we have 30 minutes to get to the wedding, very exciting. All right, let's go, fellas. Give me that fucking wand, Frost. Let me, uh... I'll give you this wand if you can tell me that you're not going to use it to break any kind of, uh, fate pack you've made here at this carnival. That brings up a good question. This pack, <laughs> wand of the pack breaking, does it have... Does the pack have to be, uh, fey in nature? Mm, you thinking what I'm thinking? Um, it's, I don't know what you're it's thinking. a pact. Oh, you know it what just I'm breaks thinking. a pact. Ooh. Thank well, you. Um, that being said... <clears throat> It's not active for 24 hours. Ah, rats. Certainly we'll need to attune to it, but even after that 24 hours, Scrammy, there are going to be better applications than what I think you're thinking. I don't you, think there are better applications. And I will say that, that, that there's a difference between a pact thinking? and a debt. Oh, well. Are you all thinking what I'm thinking? That's not what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? Well, well that's what, what I was thinking. thinking. That's I, what think, that's I think I Gideon was and all are thinking the same thing. All your thoughts around, are clouding my mind. You're being very loud right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hold on to this and I put it in my pack. I think I think we're thinking the same thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how did they get maple syrup out of trees? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, no. I, sorry, I thought we were thinking about breaking the, the debt thing. I. Didn't, oh, uh, I didn't think the syrup thing. I don't oh know no, I was just thinking from. about p- flapjacks. Yeah, 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 oh. the, the, and then the debt thing isn't a pact. It's, 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 well, it's, it's kind of a pact. You know? Not really. I mean, well, that's just you know. a dead oak. Let's yeah, walk and talk. But Let's walk and we talk. Get, well, you know, we are. Yeah, this fucking outfit. outfit. Oh yeah. Get. Can we peel out of this? I can't let my betrothed see me in the big titty troll mecca. Did and then she'll look and say, it's a goblin! And she'll grow like a 70s mustache. <laughs> yeah, no, of course. You, you, you're welcome to change out of your outfits in the dressing room behind. Oh, I would love to get back in my robe. Uh, we have. Are, are you wearing anything different than your normal outfit for the wedding? Are we supposed to? Should oh, I should, we, should, formal... should we wear something nice? Oh, yeah, no, there no, are. Don't get too fancy. There are tuxedos and dress attire in the. In the dressing room for you. Do we have valets to dress us? What? No. <laughs> Never mind. I thought I'd give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> you can dress yourself, can't you? I mean, I know you can't read or spell, but 
Come on, gentlemen, let's go check out Mr. Life's drawers and we'll get an outfit together. Your mom always dressed me until I went to Dublin College. <laughs> we go back to the dressing room and we put on clothes. And you aren't. notice that there are um, there are outfits there for each of you. There are um, there are tuxedos that are uh, black uh, pinstriped tuxedos. Um, because why not? Um, and each of them oh. seems to be color coded. Oh. Um, frost, yours is whatever color is your favorite. A dark color. forest green. Perfect. A dark mm. forest green. Um, you have a, a beautiful uh, green tie, and you have uh, special cufflinks. Oh. Uh, you have a uh, instead of flowers, you have like bits of ivy with baby's breath. Oh, that I'm not allergic to that. That's very thoughtful. Thank you, Mister Light. <laughs> Uh, Greco? Oh, I would like mine to be the, uh, like the, the grayish leopard print that I normally wear, but the whole suit of it. I'm also picturing, um, uh, the- Like black and white leopard print. It's, uh, it's a black pinstripe suit, but you have a bow, bow tie that is a oh. uh, gray leopard print, and- mm. Busty probably loves can, leopard can his, print. Can his, uh, <laughs> pants flare out a little 70s style at the yeah, bottom? They're, they're like they're yeah, they're slightly- they're slightly bell-bottomed. And I'll do, I'm not wearing shoes still. I refuse. <laughs> That's sure. You'll hurt me toes. So as you walk, your gnarled toes just stick out from under your ah, bottoms. You got a good to calluses, you know. I'm not one of you. Very anime oh. USA. Oh. <laughs> That's a deep cut, bro. Right no one's looking at that joke. No toes. And your your flower is the petunia. Oh. Just because. Crummy's mother's name is Petunia. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Oh. I used you. that line before, though. That's right. Oh, God. I, I, I can't use that. I just can't lie right now. Oh, so that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, normally I wouldn't. <laughs> normally <laughs> I wouldn't. Fucking face you. You're going to be glad, aren't you, when you are able to uh, deceive people once again, Crummy? I think I will. I yeah. think I will. I make a mental note where he put the wand on his person. Okay. On a very clear visual <laughs> oh, mental note. I would say roll an intelligence check to see how um, how well contest? you do at remembering. It's not a contest. Get no. the fuck out of here. Yeah, you don't, he's just looking at you. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> okay. Thanks. That's pretty good. I mean, you're pretty good at remembering, so it's probably like... Um, and you have your, your suit as well, <clears throat> and your color is purple. I guess. Do I have my regular clothes? Uh, yeah, they're there. I pull up what I'm wearing, and I pull up this tuxedo. (laughs) Find the difference between these two outfits. They're actually exactly the same. Oh, Uh, that uh, there's a there's a a dip in the lapel there. They're just they're sewn slightly differently. They have the same outfit, and I throw the the new one in the trash. (laughs) (laughs) Can I borrow that knife? Yeah, my new fire knife. Yeah, yeah. Ch- check it out. Let me know how the balance is. I cut myself out of the silicone bust, <laughs> and I'll discard it, and I'll get dressed in my regular artificial attire. You do, uh, and Gideon, yours is there as well. And you, um, oh, you have a uh, black dahlia as your flower. Oh wow! Oh, wow. I can, well, hold on. Let me just cover that. That was that's pretty cool. Uh, and you. You put your suit on, and uh, your color is red. And it, it's actually like a, an, an ombre, where it goes from like white through yellow into orange to red, kind of like a flame um, for your tie and all of your accents. Mm. And then your um, your flower is a fire blossom. Oh. oh, oh, and he is the photographer for the getting ready photos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just here to take your photo. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll try okay. to look natural. Okay, everybody. Oh, look. Oh, oh uh, we're helping each other can do you, um, can you move to the left? How many times do I have to keep redoing my tie? Uh, Hi, my name's Neil. Uh, <laughs> oh, hi, hi, Neil. It's a pleasure. Oh, wait, is it that Neil? Oh. Hi, Neil. Is, that, is it just another Neil? No, no. Oh. No, Neil, hello. Is that, is that Neil? Hmm? Uh, did, you, did you go to you a community a... college with a goblin roommate who tormented you for four years? 
It was only two, two years. years. No, I'm a dwarf. Oh, <laughs> you told me that it took. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did she get fucking deal? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I mean, have you seen a goblin walk out in a swamp with a bunch of reeds and stuff? He kind of looks like a dwarf. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. His name is spelled G G N E A H L with an umlaut. <laughs> I eat something in my throat. It's Ah! 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 And, uh, and, and, uh, continues to take your photos, which are really just caricature drawings, like the kind you would get at, um, at, like, a street fair, oh, where nice. your heads are really large, you have overly large oh, teeth. Oh, look, we're all taking sips out of a flask together, because we're a bunch of guy friends. <laughs> Let's all pretend to laugh. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, and it takes about 15 uh-huh. minutes for you to get ready, and Neil leaves to continue being the wedding photographer at the actual wedding, oh. and you, uh, you find yourselves on the streets of the carnival as you begin to make your way through the throngs of people um, towards the orchard. Well, do you feel ready to uh, a lifetime of commitment? No. Well, no. (laughs) But I have an ace up my sleeve like I usually do. That's terrific. We're not playing poker, Grammy. This is all for the debt. Imagine imagine the, the... the calmer seas that will come after this experience. When we've gotten back to uh, the old man, I can't remember his name. Mr. Roslov. Uh, Mad- Madrick. Madrick. Oh, yeah, Mr. Roslov. When we get back to Madrick and we can claim his inheritance, it'll be all right. Well, if they sign those prenups, I think we'll be fine. What did it say? Oh, yeah. What'd you write up? You didn't well, tell us. a whole lot of language, but mm-hmm. the high level is, you know, I'm going to keep it a surprise. Oh. But at the end of the day, they're going to think it's benefiting them because they're going to be safe from our horrible, crippling debt. But once we become gazillionaire, billionaire adventurers with, you know, Roslov's entire hoard of treasure, mm. they don't get an answer. But will you still be married? Wait! Uh, you know, that's not really relevant. Wait! You had the opportunity to trick someone into signing something! And rather than getting us out of the marriage commitment, you just protected our future wealth? Well, we don't even know if we don't even know if they're gonna sign the day. Uh, what? I think they already signed them. Do you write one up for me? When they sign them. In character, oh, we don't know that they we signed We don't know that they signed them. Did you write one up for me or no? Well, no, you were still in the hospital. Uh, and you didn't have the foresight to write one up for me, knowing that I'd get, uh, you know, engaged to whatever. Pixie Taxi. blinked her eyes at me? You know, I figured that we had about an hour and a half left at the carnival. I thought there's not a chance in hell Gid's gonna get betrothed in, in 90 minutes. And well, you know, I should have had the forethought. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, you didn't see her in a nurse's outfit, okay? I, I, I thought that you were like having, oh, I got some crazy voodoo trick that will shave our hides, and you just literally wrote a prenup. Who else oh, but Grammy? I feel a little jealous, to be honest. You guys are all sharing this experience together, and I don't have time to... I mean, I can't just run over to the... To Booksy? Silver Song Lake, or the gondola swans and <laughs> are you trying to are you trying to get married to a giant talking swan uh, right boat. now i really boat. Boat. A swan swan boat. Boat. i enjoyed her mind I, it's, it's, <laughs> oh <laughs> gosh she was very crafty intelligent clever you'd have to live in a boathouse for the rest of your life you understand oh she, just on the water she'd like be the house dock. wait does she not have flippers <laughs> that, that propel her or is she literally a boat I don't know. She's literally a boat. Oh. Yeah. See, you oh. two and one for deal. You get to be a homeowner. Yeah, and... I guess boats are pretty expensive, so you'd save a little bit of money. No, you know what they say. And they retain the value, I it, guess. It'll it'll be the it'll be like the old uh a doggy. The what? Uh, what? The adage. Like a like old a adage. doggy? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Of the happiest, the two happiest moments of a boat owner's life is the day that he buys it and the day that he sells it. That's. I don't think that's a very nice thing to say about. Uh, <laughs> can't remember her name. <laughs> Featherine. I have it here. What was it? Featherine. Featherina. <laughs> Featherine. Oh man. man. Frost would get it right. Derek doesn't get it right. <laughs> <laughs> <For> months. <laughs> 
We've been at this carnival for 15 months. <laughs> it feels like. Well, it's I'm four just episodes. saying. We were at this carnival for four episodes. It'll, uh, four episodes. it'll be, it'll be the, you know, it's like the happiest day is when you get married and when you divorce her. Mm. Well, I don't think that that exists for the Fae. I mean, it's like a pact, right? You mean div- there's no divorce or annulment in the Feywilds? Perhaps there are multiple marriages, <clears throat> but I imagine that in about 15 to 10 minutes, you're going to get hitched forever, Greco. Yeah, but maybe uh, maybe it's just kind of like, you know, who, who knows how it works? Maybe you just got to kind of get her happiness hearts to like five, and then you got a friend forever that'll always show up and battle for you, and, you know, you can like summon as a cool attack. Oh, like with the cool whistle or something? Yeah, That still yeah. sounds awful. <laughs> Well, I tried. And it is about this time that you make your way towards the orchard. And as you turn in, you see that this has been turned in to a beautiful wedding venue. There are um, there are uh, arches, a large gazebo. Um, all of the chairs are lined up with um, extravagant um, autumnal uh, decorations all over the place. Uh, it is quite beautiful. There is a constant shower of shimmering golden silver silver and red leaves that are just uh, drifting from the sky and replenishing. Um, It is lovely. Um, And as you make your way towards the front, you see that uh, the entire venue is already filled with all of the guests sitting there. And as you look around, you see no sign of Mr. Witch or Mr. Light. You do see, however, that there is a um, a tall, elderly satyr man standing at the very front beneath the uh, or at the altar, with a book held open in his hands uh, as he shifts his spectacles and looks down at, at the writing as he seems to be practicing what what he's going to say. Um, you look around; you don't see the the bridal parties anywhere. <clears throat> but you do see that there is a large section specifically for Pixies and the Families where Busty is very is uh, very loudly crying and excited for the marriage of her daughter uh, to, uh, to Gricko. Um, and as you make your way up, you are met by um, you are met by a dryad who makes her way towards you and um, and greets you all. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the wedding. Um, I do have the marriage certificates. Um, Gideon, can I have your signature, please? Right here, please, oh, your bride. Yeah. <coughs> oh. Lovely. And she rolls it up and ties it and puts it uh, in a pouch at her side. All right, well, the groom, we're going to go ahead and take you to the back room to get you fully ready. Um, I'm assuming that Gricko, Kremi, and Frost are going to be your uh, your groomsmen party? Yeah, I mean, I don't know anybody else except Have you for Neil, assigned but everyone best hates man? <laughs> Oh, it'll be Kremi, hands down. That's right. All right. Yeah, obviously, I mean... Yeah, obviously. Wait, Why so, would you even ask me that? So they, they, they signed, they signed the, the, the contracts that I, that I gave them? All of the contracts have been signed. And no, been, no amendments or corrections or nothing? No, they've been gone over by the legal team prior to signing, and all of the brides have agreed. Oh, no. And the, they read the whole thing? Yes, they've all agreed. Oh. I don't feel about that. Taxi right. was a little on, on the fence about it, but she has also <clears throat> agreed. Mm. All right, cool. Mm. Okay. That's great news. Yes. Well, wow. congratulations, buddy. Yeah, I can't wait to we're get married. To, we're going to head on over to the gazebo for a moment to take a few photos, and we'll get you. Um, we'll get you set up at the altar, and then I'll explain to the three of you what needs to be done to start the ceremony. And when you're ready, uh, I guess we'll begin. And she yeah. um, she quickly ushers you over to this beautifully ornate uh, gazebo uh, where there are um, where there are there is a large um, cauldron that is just filled with this bubbling amber alcohol uh, that hits like fireball, um, but it's almost like um, a hot buttery fireball. Mm. And um, there are little glasses there for you to indulge uh, as you as you wait for things. And um, so, please have a drink, and 
we will begin the ceremony shortly. Uh, we will take you to the altar. You'll stand there and await the ceremony to start. Uh, we will uh, have Kremi leading the way first, followed shortly by Frost and then by Grico. You'll stand in order next to, to the groom. Um, and then the, then the uh, brides will come in. Oh, uh, we're doing all three at the same time? Yes, of no. course. That's fantastic. Oh. That that's really gonna make sure that we have plenty of time left in the carnival to it's all at once. Just do it all in one fell swoop. Yes, of course. Yeah. Well, wait. Well, what order do we stand in then? Why do I need a best man if we're all getting married at the same time? Yeah. You will be first as the groom, followed by Kremi as your best man, that's and right. then Frost, and then Grico. Oh, so wait. Like, I thought we was all getting married at the same time. I'm not getting married. You're so getting then, married. Like I swap spaces with Kremi, no, and then he no. gets married, and I'm his best man. No, and get, then get, no. Grico I, is getting I, married, I, and then no. Frost comes out. Do you, do you out. mind if we have some and privacy? Then, um, what? I, I, I will go ahead and, and, and explain. Per the terms of the contract signed, all three pixies will be marrying you, Gideon. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? I, I meant to tell you. you and, what? And he, <laughs> what do you mean you meant to tell you? She takes out the scroll that you just signed, and it shows that you have signed to marry all three of the pixies. <laughs> Kremlin? Well, look, I didn't expect him to sign it, but... Do you what do you mean didn't expect him to sign it? That's what you wrote up? Can we have a you wrote up that I married everybody? <laughs> Everybody! Yeah. All the pics is all three of them! Bloody she, two, casts, two. she casts a bubble of silence around you guys and steps out, and you are quietly able to have a conversation. What the hell is going on? No, 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 no. Get, let me let me explain. You are oh. explaining! Kirby, you're a genius! We were in a pitch! Oh. We were in a pitch! Why am I marrying everybody? How did this help get us out of the pitch? It's hanging in the front of the bottom. I said, uh, look, I keep copies of all my contracts. And I like zoom it in and it's like magically getting bigger. Uh, <laughs> you can see here, uh, if no further amendments or corrections are made, uh, this uh, Fay marriage pact uh, is hereby transferred to one Mr. Gideon Cole. Why would you write that? <laughs> because, look, what? Why would you write Sacco? <laughs> or, 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 or Mr. Witch? Why would you pick any other name? Grab me the pop I was thinking. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, I feel really oh, I can't go to the Fay Wild now. <laughs> Two good reasons. All the Warlock patrons are dead. I'll never see combat. One. The only combat I'll see is just the forever time I spend married in the carnival. I'm going to reach out and I'm going to grab your wrist and I'm going to shake the chain literally hanging from your thing. I'm like, oh, the old ball and chain. <laughs> Chain and chain and chain. Uh, here, here, have some, have some of this fireball whiskey. One, I know you like consummate marriages. Two, this ain't the first time that you know you've been crossbow married to some girl that you consummated before the wedding day, and then we just skip down. That one's dry. Get in over here. <laughs> I just figured that I've witnessed you get married probably at least five or six or ten times. What's two more? <laughs> not, three more. <laughs> not accounting for the third one. But what's three more, Gid? Gideon and the Pixie Chicks has a nice <laughs> ring to it. <laughs> look, 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 look. It's, it's, it's going to be fine. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I should have told you first, but uh -huh. I figured you wouldn't mind. You seemed all into the Pixies, and I'm like, ooh, thank God. I'm just not going to say anything. They're probably going to change it, correct it, and Rick and I are screwed, but we're not screwed. Hey, high five! <laughs> Kremi, you're a genius, Gideon. You're my best friend. But look, look, look. The good news. The good news. <laughs> Thank you for your sacrifice. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh, oh. You're still my best I'm friend. I'm sure the good baron can annul <laughs> fey marriages. There's nothing to worry about, Gid. You understand? Look, well, you're going to go up there. All I know is that rod has three uses, <laughs> and mine's going to have plenty more. <laughs> <laughs> Uses, uses, uses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, um, oh, putting that aside. What about frost? Look, I already explained it. 
Well, you know, I wasn't listening. I was drinking. I didn't hear a damn word you said. I'm going to level with you. Frosty's, he's got his eyes on a, a giant talking swan boat. You like, cons- you, you, you like consummating marriages. Well, yeah. You've been crossbow married a few times before to girls that you consummated a little too early with, found out, and then yeah. you got forced to get mm-hmm. married, and then mm-hmm. we had to skip down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I've, yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah. you, uh-huh. you know, you've been married at least how many times? I mean, certainly there's probably a list of half dozen kiddians running around. <laughs> so I figured <laughs> what's, what's a couple more the pixies seem to be chanted by you oh. and we're gonna skip town. As soon as carnival's over, think of it as just we're skipping town to the Feywild. Now, does that mean that they still have access to the money that we might inherit? Well, no. The, the prenup is still... Oh, it's so. still ironclad. It's just his prenup now, as opposed to our. Prenup. <gasps> but but, but oh, in within the context of the legal boundaries of his prenup, let's say he gets a quarter of whatever we all inherit. Would they then have access to that quarter? Oh fuck! I don't account for taxi. <laughs> There's no prenup for taxi. So she would have access to <clears throat> oh, half yeah. of what. His quarter is so. So he's he. The best you can do is an eighth of what we earn. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I hate you, Frosty. I hate you. I have to, I have wait to wait do the math. No, you didn't have to do the math. You could have just shut up. No. You could have just shut up. Okay. You didn't have to do the math. You could have filled my drink and just stopped. <laughs> I don't know nothing about <laughs> contracts or the law, but because there's no prenup. Mm-hmm. Does that mean you can use some brutal magic to have Taxi take all of our debt from Mr. Guru? That's not how that works. But you have voodoo magic! I wouldn't even fucking try it. You think I'm gonna try to pull one over on Mr. Guru? Oh wait, that was that guy in the oh, thing. So you're not gonna pull oh, yeah. one over on Mr. Guru, but Gideon. you're gonna pull one over on me. Look, Your you best the, friend! You Look. were passed out, you didn't see Mr. Guru. Get up. Uh, I'm wait, making it he was well, a dude in the mind. He was in the mystery mind. We saw Mr. Thing. Guru was in the mystery yeah, mind? Well, yeah. we like they could peer into our souls and they showed us It was really, really, it was, really, it was bad. It was, it was, really it was considerably had... more frightening than what we saw with... Uh, well, it was the second most frightening thing that we saw. Considerably that, the no, most frightening thing that we saw. Definitely the most frightening. And then Frost was second, and then I don't know what scares Greco, but it's... <laughs> Here's what's important. If we only use this wand twice before we get our reward and complete our quest and erase the debt and make it back to the prime material plane, perhaps well, there will be time enough and uh, use enough to end your pact, if you should so choose at that time. Sit on it. Live with it. Well, and what I would say is that... <laughs> you can't get out of this. Look how many people are here. Everyone's here. I think I, I think even in the back I may see Neil. And just, <laughs> just next to him, Tina. <laughs> Who the hell's Tina? Tina Fey. She's right over there. <laughs> Tina Fey, dude? Wow. Oh, yeah. that was Jamie Pulley? Oh, it's that guy. Oh, oh, no, 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 look, it. it's that, that god Derek Tina with the sweater the and the glasses <laughs> and the pervert Italian. Yeah, Tina Fey. Oh, both, they both came too. <laughs> oh, the perverts and the oh. Italians going over to talk to Busty. Oh. I love you in 30 Rock. Oh, the bubble. Okay, anyways, <laughs> the, the, the point is... <laughs> No, the, the point is, is, I'll make it up to you. And the, and the second thing is that it's really not that bad. I mean, look, if you hadn't gotten engaged to taxi, this would be a lot worse. But now it's just like three wives instead of one. That's a lot better than two wives instead of zero, if you ask me. Well, <laughs> at least there's probably no chance to follow me into the Feywild and continue this adventure somehow. Yeah, no more. It'll just probably end here. So Almost yeah. certainly they'll be able to travel. They're, they're pixies. What are you talking about? What does about? it matter with you, Frosty? <laughs> you don't do anything supportive. You just sit there, you solve math equations in your head. Oh, one plus one doesn't equal three, Gideon. Okay, I get it. Just shut up. Okay. God. <sighs> Oh. <laughs> what a happy, joyous day! Are we are we giving him away, or is, are you expecting someone special? Or is your pa coming? Is your pa alive? Do you have pa? Why would you bring that up now? <laughs> well, because wouldn't 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 pa Cole want to see? No, no, you know, you came to other twenty seven <laughs> weddings. Bro. Oh well, you know I always no, I always just set a plate for him. He's burned alive by a hobgoblin warhorse. <laughs> oh. No, he's not coming. Well, you can see. 
Somewhere 500 God. miles from here, you see an old version of Gideon. Again? <laughs> <laughs> well, I keep... That's Lord Foreland, though. <laughs> well, I keep sending invitations. <laughs> and I heard that he liked deviled eggs, so I always got the caterers to put the same deviled eggs. Is that why we always have deviled eggs? I don't even like deviled eggs. <laughs> oh, I heard that Paul Cole liked deviled eggs. He's dead. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm well, we need deviled eggs for. Yeah, Nobody I'm, likes deviled eggs. I thought like it was good. nebulous. They're delicious eggs, eh? Oh, oh my god. They're so yeah. delicious. A little, little bit of horseradish. Horse oh, yeah. yeah. A little bit of horseradish. Okay. Can we do this? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we can do this. I'll oh, make it up to you. Uh, no, you yeah. won't. Yeah, we will. Trick oh, me into a pact. You mind controlled me into killing Greco. <laughs> Uh, you're not dead. And you're not dead. I, sh- I think I'm somehow I sh- responsible for you getting in the hospital in the first place. Look, y'all can blame me. We'll figure it out later. It'll be fine. Just like old times. Just like old times. Whoa. We get into trouble and then we get out. I'm excited to find out what cliche songs they play as the brides come down the, <laughs> the, the lane. It's, it's going to be very exciting. Uh, oh, you think they're going to play a sweet Clementine? No. Clementines? No. What, what's that one that's like, nah, 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 nah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, then yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, dun, 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 French have always been known for <laughs> champagne excellence. Uh, dryad, Dryad, I, 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 I didn't catch your name. Uh, uh, I believe that Gideon and the three groomsmen are ready. I'm very pleased to hear it. Well, I will escort you directly to the altar if the three of you could make your way to the front entrance beneath the archway of um, of maple leaves. Then um, once the music begins, Kremi, you will lead the way. Oh. Um, on the count of five, you will then start. So Kremi will move. One, two, three, four, five, then you will move. But I'll get a cue. <coughs> the moment the music starts. Do I get a cue too? Do I need to count myself? You count five after Frost. I, I think that perhaps... No, hey, Grigo's second. Frost is third. <laughs> yes, I was just about to suggest that he's not the one to count to five last. <laughs> yeah, no, he's the... No, Grigo's second. Grigo stands next to Kremlin and then Frost, but Frost waits for six seconds. Oh. Yeah. As you wish. Thank oh, you. Can, uh, I, can yeah. I wait for three seconds? Oh, you can wait the for eight worst. seconds. I'll wait for... I'll, ooh. Eight, eight seconds? Yeah, fine, eight seconds. All right. Anything eight. longer than five. A psionic hand brings you another drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, yeah. well I'm coming around on this. <laughs> well, let us begin then. Okay. And you are escorted um, to the altar, and you stand there as the... Um, uh, you make your way up to it, and... What uh, song plays as I walk up? There's no song in place as oh, you well, walk classic. up. Oh, well, classic. You, you are not... Call it. <laughs> you, you are not getting... Uh, you are not getting an entrance like you would expect. The wedding hasn't started, but you are. You will be standing at the altar when the wedding starts. Um, and you you make your way up, and you see the, the old satyr there. And... <gasps> Today on the day of this <laughs> Hey, I don't think you start yet, man. I, it's just me up here. Hey, huh? hey, uh, what are you, are you practicing? You are very bright. Oh, well, I think it's this flower. I think it gave me, I think it actually shoots fire, so. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh, oh. Are you okay? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm well, allergic good. to autumn. Oh, is it autumn? Now? Yes. Oh, well, you're in the wrong place, man. <laughs> I was the only one they could get at this time. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Three weddings and a bargain we basement seder for... To the... Hey, wait, nothing's happened yet, man. Stop talking. <laughs> apologies, apologies. Yeah, okay, let's just be cool. You need a drink? Apologies. Yeah, loosen up a little Do bit. Do you have one? Yeah, hey, Frost. Oh, he's way back there, isn't he? Wait. 
<laughs> Kremi, uh, Rico, I think that I think Rico just shit himself. <laughs> oh, Jesus, oh, say that. Do you smell that? <laughs> no, what? <sighs> Again? I'm just he's trying doing to this thing where he's trying to, to communicate to me. All I hear is a distant it scream like in my mind. It smells like burning hair. <laughs> I'm only like 15 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> shout at you. Yeah. I'm trying to mentally connect with that. Do you uh, smell that? Process. It smells like burning hair. Uh, well, I think that's just my normal hair. That's it. It's just always burning. Gideon, yeah. Uh, yeah, are you trying to speak to you? Speak, yeah, speak to yeah. me in your mind? <laughs> Yeah, uh, Frosty, you may wonder who it is that speaks to you now, but it's me. You shouldn't wonder too much longer. It's Giddy. <laughs> hey, uh... You took 15 can- words to tell me what I already knew. Yeah, well, listen, okay, can you just, can you use your, uh, t- your mind hand to, uh, whisk up some of that, uh, you know, hot buttered cinnamon rum to this crazy old satyr up here? He keeps talking to me. I mean, yeah. if he drinks rum, I'm gonna kill him. I'm not gonna... <laughs> Give him rum. Do you want more what? rum? I mean, can you just hand me a drink? This guy needs a drink. He's got to steady his hands. I'll give you a drink, and you can do with the drink what you please. Oh, plausible <laughs> liability. Yes. Oh, I wish yeah. we used the word plausible more. Right? Plausible. Plausible other things should be a thing. Yeah. Anyways, it, suddenly you see a hand come, and it's got the buttered rum. <laughs> Guys, I'm so Thank happy. Thank you. Oh, uh, here, man. You need a drink? Yes, thank you. All right, there you go. Wait, whistle. Oh, jeez. Yeah, somebody came it's, it's about to get very 1994 up in this bitch. I'm allergic to rule. I haven't had a drink in 15. <laughs> Wait, you're not any kind of clown, are you? Oh! <laughs> he's, not, he's not a clown, but he's, he's diabetic. <laughs> All right, he's fine. He's fine. All right. Yeah. Right, you oh, no, he's still going to meetings. Yes, no. <laughs> you can't just hand a man a drink. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's all down to him from yeah. why the hell not? I'm not coming back. And with that, the music starts. <laughs> Dun dun da da. Oh. Dun dun da da. I, I immediately start walking. Oh, very out of my traditional. And, uh, and you do that. <laughs> hey, don't worry about him. He's, he's, no, he's okay. Don't worry about him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was like this when I got up here. He's just, yeah, he's kind of like prone to fits, I think. I think he's having the, what they call a medical event. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Look at him. Sturdy as a rock. <laughs> oh. Blue veins on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no, Crummy, I've never seen this guy so sturdy. Never yeah, yeah, ever before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he'll make it. He's only got to do this three times. <laughs> oh, they got nurses flying all over the place. Yeah, this guy, the tab, he's not going to make it this far. Up. Yeah, no, he. <laughs> I'm not getting married after all. This guy's gonna, got like three seconds. <laughs> the crowd rises as you walk. Um, <laughs> Five, well, <laughs> you, you, you begin to march down the aisle. One, two, three, four, five. That's your cue. Five, five. That's the, yep, all the way to five. Start walking now. You don't have to count. You don't. I, I don't even know why I started with counting. Walk. No, walk. no go. <laughs> And you do. You walk. Everyone's standing and looking at you. Some people wave back. You see some of the kids really excited. I try to wave to Busty now that I'm, I'm not betrayed to her daughter. <laughs> She doesn't seem to notice you. Um, there is um, there is a really drunk Italian man, a per- definitely a pervert, <laughs> standing over her, and she seems to be interested. Oh, I hate that guy. <laughs> Do it for Gideon. This is a special day. <laughs> you almost had to work the day of your life, Pico, and I'll leap up and click my heels again. <laughs> I'm not being weighed down by the institution of signing over my relationship to the federal government. <laughs> you think this is the, the federal government? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's totally different. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like, 
<laughs> I literally do a jig and I'm clicking my heels together. And then that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right foot first, and and I start to walk forward. And uh, one <laughs> Frost is going incredibly slow. Hey, can you walk faster? Eventually, uh. you hear the sounds of the music. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, can I, can I, can I control this? <laughs> is, is, there, is there trying to slow down to make sure that there's going to be enough song for the ride? <laughs> oh, I, I see what's happening. I see what's happening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, snail number two, you can't. He's going faster than Frosty! Wow. And you see that snail number two is there, but significantly smaller than you remember, and there are two beautiful wooden rings tied in a ribbon on snail number two's back, as it does make its way faster past Frost and directly up in front of the priest. Taking step after Curry. step. Curry and Gideon, you guys are good at stealing. we got to steal that snail before we leave. <laughs> steal the snail? What's he talking about? What do you mean, steal the snail? I want that snail! No, we already got one pet. We're not, we're not doing two and two of these pets. But it'd be a very noble steed of frozen peas. What are you gonna do with that snail? And it is about this time that Frost um, makes his way up next to you, gentlemen, and I'm going to gentlemen, use gentlemen. four twists of dread. Oh no. Are we rolling? Yep. Oh, very nice. <clears throat> 78. Oh. 94! 17. Tell me one at a oh, time. 78 for the groom. Yeah, groom goes first. It's a special deck. We'll go in order of the groomsmen's. Uh. Uh, I need you to re roll. 68. Can you brew some more? Oh, well, I'm gonna break you yeah. out. Ooh! Oh, I got a backup. If I don't get 68, it's 100. Oh. Well, you're the Just groom, so. Just if I don't get 68. So. <clears throat> Pick your best one between 68 and 100. Pick whatever you would like me to have. <laughs> Mistress. You cannot stop sneezing, yawning, or burping. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm. I'm 70. Oh, oh, what's in that? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> the hell's in that drink? Need a handkerchief? Yeah. Yeah, you go. Yeah, I mean, I always got a handkerchief on me. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Jesus, that What's was believable. Oh, yeah. What? Well, I don't know, man. Some in that drink. I, wait, I wish I could me? do that, but I just throw up. <laughs> <laughs> I can throw up on command. I can make my stomach gurgle on command. You should hear it. It's gurgling. Uh, can you roll again for me, please? The higher ones are just so, like. 33. That's going to be a much better one. Oh. <laughs> Your mouth turns into the mouth of the predator where it's, like four, <laughs> it's four jaws all hinging disgustingly. Oh <laughs> uh, can you roll a uh, d6? Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no. Three. Uh, Gideon, uh, no, it's one, two, three, oh, four, oh, five, oh. six. Um, you are in love with Gideon. Now is the perfect time. <laughs> the Does perfect anyone time. object? <laughs> I can't tell a lie. Now is a great time object. for this. Uh, Gricko. Uh, 38. I did get a 95, but I re-rolled it because you said everything in between 80 or the 100 was not good. Wait, what did you What did you have originally? A 95 originally. But okay, I found, well, let me see what that is. Yeah. Mm. And then I re-rolled 38. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Your ears become gigantic. <laughs> God, I wish I was a cleric right now. Five. Oh, nice. Pretty good. Wait, why In is most that? cases, that would work. What is, what is that? You need to roll below your level for your god data. Yeah, um, but it's can like you, DM fiat. It's can crazy. you roll a d4 for me, please? <clears throat> I am capable. Would you like me to? <laughs> yes, <laughs> please. Ooh, no. Ooh, no. That means one. Uh, you become a spring aladrin. 
What did we decide spring was? We didn't. We, we never did have one. We didn't have spring. We didn't have spring. Mm-hmm. That's all you. I would say you probably, you know. You're going to do like a, didn't we talk about it? It's going to be like a, like a pervert or a sex pest. I was going to say, they, they were all sex pests. They like, were all sex pests. Like summer, summer was uh, Surfer Dude, mm-hmm. Old Man Winter. What were you? Oh, <laughs> Spirit Halloween. Bananios. Oh, yeah, Spirit Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. Bananios. Bananios. Um, <laughs> it's Blue Ocean. Can we take a coffee break? Yes, that's fine. We're going to take a coffee ah, break. Uh, <clears throat> In, can anyone hear Frost tummy gurgling oddly, <laughs> loudly? <laughs> no, you're next to the snail. What? Uh, snail number two, is that you? Uh, no, I can't hear. No one seems to notice the change in you outside of uh, you all. I see. Oh. Okay. Not even, like, sneezing or... I don't seem to think any different of it. It's not like anyone's... So they might the notice time. it, but it doesn't seem yeah. odd. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys hear the whispering at the back? It looks like Cracksy did show up. <laughs> <laughs> what, did he, what did he say? Cracksy. Cracksy showed, <laughs> showed up. <laughs> yeah, the cousins are all whispering about it. They're, ho- they're hoping she doesn't make a scene. Can you all hear that? It looks like no. a reverse... Busty. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice, everyone? It's so nice. Wait, <laughs> reverse Busty? That's like the worst thing I ever heard. You mean Flatsy? You hear everything, don't you? <laughs> <coughs> wait, wait, who? Greco uh, or Crack? Uh, uh, Greco hears everything. Isn't that nice? Isn't uh, that lovely? Well, no, but how. Uh, uh, explain your reverse Busty joke. Oh, Cracksy and Busty. Oh, I get oh, it. Oh, I get it. Now as well. No, I don't get it. I feel like Butsy, <laughs> oh, is more funny because it's similar. I don't dun, know if there's a dun, Butsy. Dun, 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 <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Everyone stands up again as you see um, as you see a tiny pixie girl as she begins to fly down the aisle tossing these itty-bitty flower petals Isn't out of a nice? small basket. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Um, Followed behind her, you oh, see God. the wedding parties. There are about 40 pixies between the three brides that are flying and making their way um, down the aisle as they make a yeah. um, a line against the opposite side of the, the uh, priest. Oh, that's and a lot of pixies. finally, <laughs> you begin to see yeah. the first pixie, Bixie, as she makes her way down the aisle, her dress trailing behind her. There are two bluebirds that are holding up her veil as she flies forward. And she takes her place directly in front of you. You can see tears streaming down her face as she reaches her hands out at you. I'm so happy I'm gonna get to marry the king champ. Turn to crummy. Uh, is this one of mine? I think that, who was that? Was that? That was, was that Gricko's. Yeah, I think that was Gricko. Okay, I don't know. I'm starting to tell like 40 pixies over here. Got Look it, how happy it. she is. And then it's the great. next one begins to make her Formerly way down Gr- the aisle. Formerly Gricko. Um, in a very similar dress, Bluebird's also holding up her... Formerly um, Chucks. Uh, her veil. Um, or the train of her dress and her veil as she's um, making her way down the aisle. And as she gets to the front, you see she like sidles Bixie out of the way. This is clearly Zaxi, who was supposed to be Kremi's bride. Oh, so I nice am, to see you. I am the, shut up. Oh. I am the Klimt, Cake Chad. I am the Klimt. You're, you're the Klimt? I'm the Klimt. You did. I think that's okay? a, some kind of disease, you know? Yeah, sort well, of... should you be here? Is that contagious? <laughs> I'm overwhelmed emotionally. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Well, that oh, makes yeah. sense. Shut up. This is not your wedding. I know. I actually don't think I can catch diseases. I think the heat just burns them out the second they come to me. I mean, if I could, I'd be dead. Oh, that's. I guess that's pretty handy. Do, could you, do you guys ever talk so loud? What are you talking about? Don't forget, about? you're in love with Gideon. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just making sure. Uh, and then lastly, you hear the music swell. Uh, as in the, as you see Taxi make her way down the aisle. Her dress is three times bigger than the other two brides. She looks diseased too. Her veil is <laughs> twice as long, and instead of bluebirds, she has 15 doves 
um, that are flying along around her, that are holding up her veil and the trail of her dress as she makes her way down the aisle. Her bouquet is almost as large as she is as she makes her way toward you and she pushes both of the other pixies out of the way and she looks towards you. I never thought this day was going to come. I mean, I know we just got engaged this morning, but <laughs> I'm so excited to be your again. wife. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that before. Uh, yeah, well, hey, uh, thanks for joining me. And I'm going to rock your world tonight, Gideon. Well, it's um, starting to sound pretty okay. Did, I mean, did, does talk? anyone hear the sudden sound of wind going through a canyon? <laughs> 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 Sorry, that was me, I think. Ah, he's got a good point. Ah, I mean, Gia, I think ah. she rocks every pixie's world, every humanoid's world. Pixie I've had otherwise. a lot of experience, honey, and she winks at you. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, that's we your that. daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Mike. Like a wizard sleeve. Uh, and yeah. with that, you hear. It's like Gary, <laughs> it's like Gary Goodberry himself is here. If we could get silence in the chapel. Oh, he's still alive? <laughs> This is so beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, this is so nice. It's not that beautiful. It's not that nice. It's so nice. No, it's not that nice. Oh, no. oh, oh God. 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 To bring these four people into holy man, red cereal chonies. It was actually uh, five of us. To bring these five people into <laughs> matrimonies. Well, wow, there's no fit. I just thought it'd be funny if I just messed him up a little bit. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Please, 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 I think he has like two weeks left. <laughs> Help me! Kalima! 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 You saying his heart's racing like a Shetland pony? Oh. If I have to ask you to be quiet one more time, you'll feel the wrath of the satyrs today. I, thought, I actually thought you were done. Is this still happening? Do you so want to marry ahead. every pixie in attendance? Well, no, no, he does no, not. No, I does don't, not. no. Nope. Do you That's have that bad? The next person outside of me that speaks is getting married. <laughs> um, uh, this is, uh... Uh, you have uh, been uh, sentenced to four years in prison. Oh no, that's the wrong spot. Uh, um, mm, uh, um, you uh, were Six speeding. You were going seventy miles over the no, that's the wrong place. Community um, service um, and you, uh, eighteen months probation. Um, <laughs> you have to wear this thing around your ankle, and you can no. No, actually, that's the right spot. You have to wear this thing around your ankle and you can never leave the house ever again. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. <clears throat> well, we are gathered here today to celebrate the love and joy between Bixie, Zaxi, <clears throat> Taxi, and Gideon Cole. Under the light of our Lord Oberyn and Titania of the Summer Court, if anyone here should disagree with this union, may you please speak now or forever hold your peace. This is just ironic, Gideon, right? Like, just sort of like guys' night, huh? What? What are you talking about? I think there's these, these weddings, you know? Since nobody in attendance disagrees. Right? Tell me it's ironic. Get, what? what Gideon, you, I, mean, I guess you it's please? ironic. What you, I mean, what? And Cremula Crew. <laughs> Gideon, can you please give your vows to your four betrothed? Oh, uh, was I supposed to write those beforehand? Just speak from your heart, son. I'll speak from the heart. Hey, you, you threw it pretty hot. Four. You f 
for. No, I'm, look, I'm not included in any of this. Anyone who spoke during the ceremony is now betrothed I and will be getting married. I didn't agree to that. Yeah, that right in, in, in writing? Is that a policy somewhere on the side of the chapel? Well, I think you asked if anyone had any, uh, you know, like, uh, like, those were beautiful hey. vows. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, it is now uh, uh, by the by the power vested in me beneath the court of Fay, uh, signed by Lord Oberyn and uh, Titania Queen of the Summer Court. I now pronounce you man and uh. wives and crummy. What? I married crummy too. It's, it's just ironic. It's, the it's, the it's just ironic. Ah, the crowd goes wild, ah, and you are now married. Oh, <coughs> oh man! Well, <sighs> you may now uh, kiss your brides and crummy. Well, I'm not kissing crummy. Oh, no, we would never do that. I mean, yeah, unless man, it's like required never. by law. Right? No, it is like, required by law. Not required by law. I'm not kissing you Grammy. You feel compelled to kiss Grammy. I don't feel compelled. I'm not in kissing Grammy, you weird saint. You get your kinks out at some other. Yeah, you yeah, weird you. drunk old saint. You get your kinks out somewhere else. <laughs> Jesus. I'll kiss my pixie wives. Oh. <laughs> you, you close your eyes and begin to kiss your pixie wives and crummy. Oh God. <laughs> you burp into Zaxi's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Say psych right now, dude. <laughs> Say psych. <laughs> what? I'm not saying psych. What do you want me to say, psych? What's the matter with you? I, I'm just, I'm not, Come on, man. I no reason. No, I'm just, you know. That's all strange. Right? He's got giant ears, though it's maybe that's not weird to me. It's just guys now. Like with yeah. Guys. That's it's a little offensive. It's not guys now. I mean, we're getting married. Getting married. I got a bunch of pixie wives. And, I mean, I guess now we're married. That's, you and know. with yeah, that, everyone Chris stands, Chris stands up and cheers. <laughs> you take your pixie wives in your arms and make your way down the aisle. Everyone's throwing uh, rice at you. It's beautiful. Kremi, you're walking very closely behind. Oh. You are technically and legally married to Gideon. Um, and uh, well, I guess common law already. And you know. make your way to <laughs> common law to change you. You make your way to a beautiful uh, autumnal, um, uh, autumnal outside um, like gazebo area that's filled with food and drinks and celebration. And for the next hour or so, you have uh, time. Feels like it's slowed down, slowed down a little bit, and you have time to mingle. Um, it's the happy hour. Isn't so nice. <laughs> Oh, yeah. how much blood is coming out of my ears? <laughs> Two blue jays are holding them up. <laughs> oh. 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 Uh, thank you, Mr. Blue Wasn't that beautiful? Jay. I'm sorry, what is, wasn't that beautiful? Ah! Wasn't that beautiful? Stop screaming in my ear, Frosty. I mean, I'm strange I'm green I'm man. Hey, he's not screaming. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look at all that blood. <laughs> oh, 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 my nice tie. Oh, 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 hey, oh my head is so heavy on oh, my neck. <laughs> <laughs> There's always one at a wedding. It's going to be all right. It's going to be just fine. Uh, maybe I should have gotten married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You feeling all right? If you can hear me, primal spirits, I'm sorry for all the bad things I did. Have a, have a hard lemonade. It's going to be okay. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> it's like even the, even the gals can have a strong beverage, too. <laughs> oh. Oh. You are mingling. Oh. The your your brides are actually nowhere to be. Seen. They're out on the dance floor dancing, oh, having a good time, floor. drunk. Um, but you you imagine that this um, this hour that you've been gifted by Mr. Witch, where the time has been slowed down a little bit, is the last opportunity you're going to have to make whatever plans you need to make. Because the moment this is up, you know that the crowning of the Witch Light Monarch will be happening immediately after this reception. Ah, we got a lot of plans to make. Can I? Is there a candy stripe of pixie? No. Oh! Well, you got plans to make, but but dancing's all I know. 
<laughs> oh, they're gonna play sweet Clementines. Oh, there's some nice moves, Gideon. Next That's time. pretty good, Gideon. We could, we could, maybe you know, we could do that together, I guess, right? Oh, look at this. This is kind of fun. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, come on, Kremlin. Or should, should I do like opposite? Yeah, no, no, like no that. we're like connected. We like now we're that. connecting weirdly. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's kind of, kind of appropriate, right? Like, you guys can bump hips. <laughs> I think that'd be kind of weird. I mean, unless, uh, unless, yeah. you know, it may be all the better. <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless, yes. you know, it's your big day. Yeah. It may be the blood loss, but I think that looks quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a plan to make. We gotta get. We gotta get this moving forward. <sighs> we, no, we, we got. Wait, how much time do we got? We got. After this, it says it's gonna be. It's gonna be uh, a, a, a whole. A whole crown of the of the Witchlight Monarch. We haven't talked to the Displacer Beast or killed Thacko yet. I think that that time is over. I don't. Wait, Miss Kitty. I don't think we're gonna platinum this. <laughs> yeah, Miss Kitty. <laughs> and that's okay. It's well, fine. I feel like I'm. I forget. Like I met her, but I don't remember how. Well, didn't you used to work here eight years ago? I did, and I visited Miss Kitty Whiskers, and I feel like something very important is missing. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, who knows? Who knows what it could possibly be? Yeah, probably. we'll never solve that one, I guess. Yeah, it's probably not important. <laughs> I think I also may have uh, slipped several discs in my neck, <laughs> if that's a thing that exists in a fantasy world. Neck discs, sure. Yeah, my neck discs. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody huddle together, huddle together. This is going to be our little secret, all right? Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay. You're making it's me around, very uncomfortable. It's around me. this time that you hear commotion as a group of people gasp and scream. And off to the corner, you see a bunch of people running and huddling around an area. As people are panicking and yelling. We gotta go check that out. Oh, that's probably nothing. You're the groom. You're supposed to be uh, responsible for this whole thing. <sighs> you are the groom. Responsibility? Come on, let's go. Oh. Why do you think I was so happy when you got tricked by Krimi? I just wanted to dance. <laughs> well, I mean, they're probably gonna play a downtown funk later, so you can get in on that when all the kids get to the dance We're just later. gonna face this problem, we're gonna beat the devil out of it. I just really oh. wanna hear the rude. Sandstorm. I just really want to hear the Rude Sandstorm. Oh, that's yeah. a good sandstorm. That's a good sandstorm. Miss sandstorm. And, when they, and of course yeah. they're going to play the Electrum slide. <laughs> <laughs> and you do make your way over to the commotion. Yeah. Yeah. Two hops is time. At this point, my head is like dragging. Uh. <laughs> they're, get, they're still getting bigger, too, I think. Um, <laughs> as you make your way over, um, the, crowd, the crowd parts for you, and you see a sight that you did not expect. Thacko the Clown laying dead on the ground. His, no, I didn't do this one. His face completely swollen. As you see in one hand a fork, in the other a um, a plate that used to have the groom's chosen dessert, peanut butter pie. Thacko had eaten the peanut butter pie not realizing that it was peanut butter. He chose the groom's side and Gideon's choice of cake has killed the clown. Specifically, I didn't invite him. I didn't want him here. So he killed oh, himself. Yeah, what are we gonna do? Why? Well, no, there's no. I have no responsibility to this. We're gonna be liable for this. No, we can't sure. possibly be liable for this. Just because I love peanut butter cake and peanut butter desserts of all kinds. You didn't clearly mark that it was peanut butter. Well, I didn't invite him. Yeah, but what if oh. another guest had a horrible, deathly peanut allergy? I don't think that's even possible if they're not clowns. It's gonna be all right, Gideon. Sometimes you need a little dark in order to make the lights that. Ah! <laughs> what is God? Wait a minute. You. When when I heard that, oh please help me! I have a peanut. Allergy. Please, no one can hear me over the music. That was funny. My, uh, my heavy pants in my left pocket. My heavy pants in my left pocket. I have thirty seconds. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not dying. dead yet. I'm not dead yet. If someone can get There's still me. plenty of time oh, to save me. No one can hear me over the music. <laughs> You heard that here. Here. You have to do the instructions are as follows. Oh, yes. I mean, I went out for a couple of minutes. For 60 minutes, you heard that? You heard that? the whole hour. For an hour, you heard that? <laughs> Facko died slow, and that's nice. <laughs> That's all right. Is that uh, nice? <laughs> well, I just, I just thought it was a little wedding times prank. You know? Oh, 
Oh, man. This man needs Whoa. medical attention. No, I'm gonna he's the coroner. Him, and I'm going to, like, pretend like I'm uh, giving him medical aid. I'm going to, like, sort of pickpocket him, basically, and see if he has any, like, letters or oh. correspondence. Sure. Poor Roll an gold. investigation <laughs> check and a sleight of hand. I loot the body. <laughs> <laughs> I loot the dead clown. I hit your hand. I hit your hand while you were rolling. No, no, that's a natural twenty. Oh, I didn't hit your hand. No, 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 no. I'll take it back. That's a good. We're married. It's legal. I think I just uh, helped you. Also, uh, you married four people, so your AC goes up by eight. (laughs) (laughs) I'm untouchable. Yeah, except by my wives. (laughs) <laughs> no, that's not how AC works. No, oh, it is tonight. <laughs> I uh, choose to get hit. Yeah, always correct. <laughs> as long as you're within 30 feet of them. <laughs> so my sleight of hand is 26, mm-hmm. and I'm going to twist my uh, investigation. Okay, roll a d100 for me. Oh, that's going to be good. Is that another shimmy sham? I'm going to twist it. Oh. I can't read his dice. It's so hard to look at. Six, and eight, and a one. One more. One more. One more. You're already... There we go. That's pretty nice. Nice. We need it. 17, I believe. No, uh, 16. So, three twists. Okay. Roll the twist for me. Oh, God! Can we absorb twists on behalf of other players? Sure. I'll take one. Oh, I'll take one. Okay, so we all get one more. Yeah, if it helps me get my head up, this is kind of uncomfortable. But if you do that, I'm gonna, um, I might choose them for you because I yeah. just okay. like it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Wow, yeah, that, teamwork. That's, um, that's how parties work. Grico, you, know? uh, you are the Share family the king load. again. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> Snail number two. Uh, <laughs> this ain't is unknown for excellence in champagne. <laughs> I see the court jester has displeased the crown <laughs> and has suffered a well deserved death. <laughs> yet another dead jester. <laughs> Or is that one? the crowd like backing away from this <laughs> Throw him in the shit trough along with the others. <laughs> <laughs> and allow me to Ah, snail number two. <laughs> Have you been on Jenny Craig? You've lost weight. <laughs> Isn't this wedding so beautiful, Gideon? Uh, you Look believe- at all the mason jars with little tea candles. You believe you are the world's greatest bard. <laughs> Snarly, my beloved! I scan the crowd. Uh, uh, snail number two, come here, I have a harness for you. It says mice, but I feel that's a little offensive. <laughs> Only mice, that's preposterous. <laughs> you will make a fine steed if you join me on my quest to save Goblintopia and fuck a troll. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be there for that too. You can't help oh, yeah, I know you have to watch. <laughs> Somebody has to, watch Somebody has to hold the camera. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, uh, congratulations on the wedding. You oh, know, well. in Goblin Topia, we have kings, right? <laughs> well, I just oh, not yet. Uh, <laughs> so we, Damn it, you're we, we to resolve before I. You, you do you. Uh, oh, well, I don't get it. What no, it's just, it's just a prank. Oh, it's no. Just a prank, Gideon, right? you, oh, you're new to King's Rights. Who was the last person you killed, Chris? Oh, King's Rights. <laughs> <laughs> <It's fucked up. laughs> oh, I don't know. I mean, it, it could have been. You gotta pick a theme. That's the thing. It's gonna escalate. <clears throat> we, got, we got clowns and it was got the fucking imp. weird ass pirates. <laughs> Uh, there was a Bullywug that uh, I oh, didn't yeah. tell anyone about that was following us into the swamp, and I and it basically oh, that's pretty good. I sort of like sneakily dispatched him. 
One of the grinning so senators. When I said that, uh, you know, we weren't followed. Uh, we weren't, but that's because Krebby killed him. Yeah, he was like, we weren't followed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he painted on some loose strands of hair. He just wiped it off. Yeah. yeah. He had to do it like this. Wait, it's like ink stains. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I need some. Mikey, you know. I'll get rid of your ears if you can be a bullywug. <laughs> How do we want to do a bullywog? Like, however you want to do a bullywog. You've done bullywogs before. You yeah, didn't like actually. Yeah, they were no, all they blubbering. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You were haunted by the ghost of the last person you killed. Now that that goes dead, I think I can just be uh, the the, the oh. next the next court gesture. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be beautiful. Look how beautiful this wedding is. I'm the world's greatest bard. I'll be able to take over immediately. No problem. I can write songs, poetry. Oh, hello, my honey. Hello, my daughter. Hello, my ragdoll girl. No, it can't be. Suddenly, it is my wife. Francois, no. <laughs> What's baby? My heart's on fire. you, Francois. <laughs> you, th- you think you're the greatest bard in the world? You never heard Francois. So. Oh, no, 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 no. The world of the greatest singer. <laughs> I had to, Francois. You you let me no choice. Girl, who are you talking to, man? Look. That is mental gymnastics. <laughs> I gotta come clean. Remember Francois at the tavern before we left? That bully was? Yeah, yeah. Remember when I said, hey, we weren't followed when I did my little check? Yeah. Turns out we were followed and I did a little, uh, you know, pew pew and uh, blasted him in the. To Francois? In, in the body. <laughs> <laughs> you blasted him in the body and exploded him I, in the vapors? I did. Well, you melted like, every rib I had. It was more like the first one kind of went in and then the second one came in inside of it and he kind of like did one of those. Oh, <laughs> the second one came inside him and burst? Yeah. <laughs> like a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like on the outside, he just looked a little kind of like like aluminum foil, oh, like stretched out. But inside, oh. it was all just you know. Oh. Soup. And I heard Frog the tunes of harmonious jazz. You did, but no, you can't hear what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, but he's got a beautiful <laughs> singing voice. <laughs> yeah, I always thought he had such a beautiful singing voice, and you just blew him up. I just blew him to smithereens. There's a grief that can't be spoken. <laughs> Man. Oh, that's fine. You, you've yeah. got nothing on frame. There's oh, a pain goes you. on and I'm on. Do the try. I'd like to see kind of like a, like a little duel thing. I going can on. accept that. No, I, 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 no, it's fine. I, I'm, I'm the greatest bard in the world. No, you're not. I am. For, I think Francois got you beat in the world. You're not even a bard. You're on not even a technicality. On the list. He's not in the world anymore. <laughs> you know, you got a good point, man. <laughs> Broken ribs and ruptured insides. <laughs> Now my guts are dead and gone. <laughs> I mean, I, I'd be happy to try singing a song, but I, you yeah. Know. I mean, can you at least try to be half as good as Francois was? <laughs> hey, everybody! Why are you pointing? Everybody, to me, it's Master gonna be magical night. Everybody, get on the dance floor. Everybody, get on the dance floor. <laughs> and people well, are screaming well, and time. looking over the dead bloated body. Oh, screaming and looking at the dead bloated body, and I just immediately <laughs> love. Everyone to the dance floor. Don't look at the clown anymore. Gods, we must kill another minstrel. No, we like this one, I think. No, we don't. Well, we don't like his talent, but we like him. No, we will throw him into no, the no. shit trough no. along with the jester. No, not this one. I'm snarly, yes. my queen. Let us unite our noble houses. That was pretty embarrassing, frankly, but I mean, maybe it's just because in, in comparison, I'm hearing Francois in my head and the acoustics are really good know. with his like kind of ghostly voice. It sort of has this oh. nice reverb on it. And almost like a little bit of chorus, you know? Everyone's oh. entitled to their opinion. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Is it? Well, you keep saying that you're the greatest bar in the world, and I'm trying to say that your opinion about that's wrong. <laughs> well, you're wrong. 
I mean, no, it, it, you, 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 it's, it's, it's fine that you have your own opinion. That's that's the, the, the beauty of life. Well, actually, I'm not sure he can't have opinions right now. I don't think he can lie. So I think everything he just says is the truth. Exactly, so. right. It, it's I what mean, he perceives to be the truth. That's, that's the, a good point. The, 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 the lens, the lens that we all see the world through, it's gorgeous. Damn it, he's smart. I mean, he's pretty smart. I mean, I'm surprised even in this form, it doesn't look anything like a cat or a frost at all. He looks like a... He looks like a beautiful painting man skin. with a... Giant afro. Giant afro. <laughs> Basically, if Derek grew his hair out. <laughs> and dyed it orange. Like a, like a, a clown <laughs> orange. Uh, Can you imagine have... Is it pink skin that they have? So it's like green, pink with a green. Orange. Or it does whatever green. you want. Whatever oh, it's a green. You get a choice. You get a choice. Ah, uh, it's like a <laughs> tangerine cake pub. <laughs> if I wasn't full on peanut butter pie and frozen peas, <laughs> I would take a nibble out of that strange minstrel. <laughs> but first, I must have King's Rides with <laughs> Please stop joking about King's Ride. Uh, yeah. Lord Smebulak. King Smebulak. King's Ride. Uh, I'm the fay. <laughs> well, I've always been synonymous <laughs> with excellence in this event. <laughs> to the betrothal, I'll have another toast. No, nah, well, I'm getting some peanut butter pie. Everybody's gone off the, the damn deep end. All right, should we like, you know, like feed each other some pie? What? Oh, I mean, <laughs> just because we kind of like ironically got married, what? you know? What the, uh, she might be like, you want your king's rights, you start with him, all right? <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. thank you. I'm getting the peanut butter pie. Yeah. No, it was all ironic. It was ironic, fellas, right? It was sort of like an ironic marriage, so that doesn't even apply. Yeah, I'm not even sure that guy was a legally empowered satyr. Yeah, you know what? You're probably... Oh, yeah. that means your children yeah, shall right. be bastards. <laughs> if it was not in the eyes of the seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the seven what? Uh, the seven-headed toad of Goblin Topia. <laughs> Are you stupid? <laughs> Did you fail religion and history I class? I didn't Goblin take class. Now has its own lore. Ah uh, yes. <laughs> right now there are Wikipedia editors <laughs> <laughs> jotting down the deep lore of Goblin Toby. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, arguing and nitpicking in the comments that no one reads but them. <laughs> <laughs> but now snail number two and I must find my betrothed so we will have another wedding I'm still singing at the top of and my lungs troll. I am sitting on the, in the morning at the diner on the corner I'm just going off I'm doing I'm doing <laughs> <Hans Dimer. laughs> all of this out in the darkness some debt evaders running you're not really taking this seriously, Gid. I mean, I guess we don't know. I mean, it's ironic, but you could at least, you know, take it seriously that it was ironic, you know? Take what seriously? That what was ironic? That we, you know, we sort of kind of like ironically got married, we you know? We ironically get married. Some crazy drunk satyr yeah. was like, oh, now you're getting married too because you spoke. Hey, even right. though... That was. What's the matter? Are you crying? I'm not, I'm not crying. No, I'm not crying. Why? Not crying. What's <laughs> Francois keep singing to me? <laughs> oh, do you wish for a sad song? Yeah. <laughs> you Would you have any requests? I'm a better <laughs> wedding bard than that pathetic green man. This is the saddest song you give me. Good. <sighs> There's only one. Oh no. There's only one. One. Is the loneliest <laughs> number that you ever do? Really to I'm not trying to get away. You can be as bad as one. It's the loneliest number after number one. And this continues. <clears throat> and I'm just, I, I will keep requesting Francois to sing me songs to just live in my fields. And that happens as the music continues to play. You get called out to the dance floor multiple times. You need to have your first dances. Mm. 
first with um, Jaina Proudmore. Uh, first with. Uh, I get to dance with Jaina Proudmore. <laughs> 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 Talking like Walker 3, Jane of Proudmoor, or like Battle for Azeroth, Jane of Proudmoor? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I'm on the dance floor. Oh, no, I'm no, on the dance floor. You get pulled out to dance with Bixie, Zixie, and, uh, and Taxi. And Jane of Proudmoor. And then eventually <laughs> Kremmy. As Kremmy comes out to the dance floor and waits for you there for your first dance no, as a married there. couple. No, I before uh, you don't go. No, I don't go. Before Kremmy goes to the dance floor, I would. Well, he apparently doesn't want to meet you. Well, at the dance floor. I would sign flag down, seeing my best pal, possible new life partner, crying in the corner and begging a horrible specter to sing him sad songs. I would flag down a. Uh, I don't know, somebody serving the wedding, and I'd say, hey, go send Kremmy a drink from me. Tell him to come to the dance floor. What kind of drink do you want to send him? Well, send... What's the most delicious drink? I don't know. I don't drink. (laughs) You're the worst. (laughs) Okay, rum. Send him rum. Tell him it's from me, though. All right, I'm going to tell him rum from the groom. Hey, can you spice it up a little bit? Hey, Kremmy is some rum from the I don't room. mean the trap, I mean your attitude. Spice up your attitude a little bit. You know what I mean? Like the pizzazz. Make him feel it. Make him feel the energy. He's a, he's sure. a theatrical guy. You know, he's going to respond yeah. to like mm-hmm. a little, I don't know, flourish your hands or something. Okay. Yeah, thank you. God, you're well. wait. Well, and you as no you're crying, grown, you you see, um, you see this pixie uh, make their way over to you with a cocktail. Kremmy the crew. Here is rum from the groom. Is this you doing it? Or did he really ask you to do this? He asked me to do it. He even told me to flourish it and do the hand thing. He would like oh, you to meet him on the dance floor. He knew I would like that. Would you like to take it? Fr- Francois, you can stop. Mrs. Yeah, would... It's Mr. <laughs> the crew. Past the point of no return. <laughs> The final threshold. What warm, unspoken secrets will you learn? Okay, you can stop now, Francois. Beyond. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Francois. How do I look? Can you can you see with your creepy ghost frog eyes? Your eyes are incredibly puffy and swollen. It's my mustache. You know, it was really unclear. Your, your, your mustache is really frazzled. Um, uh, you've been wiping. It's, it's just covered quiet. in snot. <laughs> we go nice and pencil thin. Your, uh, your mascara is running. Oh, oh, from the drag show. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Uh, <laughs> it's miss. your wedding. You can cry if you want to. Cry if you want to. Cry if you want to. They would cry too if this happened to them. <laughs> and you will come at rhymes. <laughs> I uh, adjust my bow tie and I will walk to the dance floor. <sighs> <clears throat> Crummy shows up at the dance floor, Gideon. Drink really for me. Yeah, well, you look pretty sad over there. You know, I, you know, yeah. it's ironically our wedding. That's so, just ironic, right? Yeah, it's ironically our wedding. It's a couple so, of guys' night, you know. Listen, Crummy. Yeah, Gib. Let's dance. I Let's walk dance. up to the microphone. Yes, I was. <laughs> I'm gonna ask, thank you. Give me time to realize my crime. I start singing Boy George's Do You Really Want to Hurt Me? (laughs) (laughs) Which I've forgotten the melody to, but I do it. Is that how it goes? Uh, no, I'm trying to do the wedding singer right now. But make me cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that, that's what I sing as you guys slow dance <laughs> in, in, in just a, a, a forgiving passion. 
It's just ironic. <laughs> it's just, just, it's just, and this, this, be this so happens for a while. There, there is not a single dry eye in this place as people <clears throat> as people celebrate for the new brides, as people watch Kremi and Gideon dance, as people with uh, perfect pitch listen to um, Frost Ross or whatever, Bob Frost. <laughs> as he sings. Bob Frost Bob is pretty Frost. good. I like Morning Ross. <laughs> morning Ross. Really and a morning Ross sing out of key. And as the few people who were friends with Thacko cry over his bloated dead body. Yeah. <laughs> and as Krami is, is like starting to feel like the moment and the music, no. you will hear Come and come and come and come and come and chameleon. <laughs> it comes and goes. And it just gets louder and louder. Go. Francois, that's enough. No, nope, nothing would be easy if your colors were like my dreams. Why are you screaming in my face to shut the fuck time. up, Francois? <laughs> this is screaming at me. We're dancing. And it is at this time that all of a sudden you hear the loud booming voice of <clears throat> of uh, the the loudspeakers. It is that time. The crowning of the Witchlight Monarch begins now. And this evening, the final evening of the Witchlight Carnival, we'll be doing things a bit differently oh. as we celebrate the wedding between Gideon Cole, Cremie Le Creux, Zaxi, <laughs> Bixie, and Taxi. Got it all. We're going to announce the monarch now. And a oh, celebratory well. parade will accompany them to the big top extravaganza. Congratulations, Morning Frost! And that is where we'll end the session. As Morning Frost is the monarch, is that yeah. what we can presume? Yeah. Oh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> We're not done! And that's the end. <clears throat> Don't go anywhere. That's the end of the campaign. Yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's it. it. We, we beat it. We beat it. We, beat we, beat we platinum the whole thing. We won! Yeah. We won! <laughs> High five. <laughs> Nice work. Good bro. Five. I know. Nice. It was strong. Was nice strong yeah. What was this prediction for? If we were oh, going to have combat. Oh, well, no, we're never going to have combat. No. Well done, everybody that voted no. <laughs> well done, everyone. Uh, we're not done. What's next? <laughs> Mike? Vampers and chill. We're going to be chilling. <laughs> like villains. Villains. I got a lot of lip balm. <laughs> oh, and I hope it's really shiny on camera. It's just, it's it's just, really it's shiny just ear me. blood. Yeah. It's just ear blood. And we're going to chill. Oh, we're going to have our favorite uh, met session moments. We're going to chat. We're going to answer questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately being pulled out of two twists is such a like ride. I feel like I'm a. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a it's hard to get back, in, back to Derek. From the from the champagne. I'm three layers in. Don't forget, we need to write down our our things. No, I will never forget. Uh, for it's those of you who won't be joining us for Avantress and Chill. Uh, join us this Friday in two days because I'll be DMing Icebound and I would love to have you there because it's going to be chilly, it's going to be ogre it's going to be spooky and mysterious. Not really spooky, but mysterious, certainly. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a good time, I think. Let's find out. Friday. Together. 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 On the ice. All together. What's on Sunday? On Sunday, Patreon for Mind, hangout. Mind Flayer tier patrons and above, you can join us for our Patreon hangout. Uh, that's going to be a really fucking good. You time. have time to upgrade or join us on the Patreons. Time to join Patreon. Join Patreon at the Mind Flayer tier or higher and enjoy all of the additional parts. get it. Thank you for being with us tonight on Wednesday. It was. It was very nice to be back with this wild and wacky campaign. And <clears throat> next week, we should ideally be wrapping up the carnival for the final time. Sweet Christmas. And we should be entering Prismere. After all these years. Sweet show! After all these years. After and all. I so think join next us. week is also our last session of the year. Session of the year. <gasps> yep. Wow. I, think so. I, believe that's, I believe that's true. Don't quote me on that. I know. I believe it is. I believe Hi. it is. Next so yeah, don't next go Wednesday. anywhere. We're gonna, we're still hanging out. Uh, but if you gotta go, good night. We love you.